Salutations! Dreamforge back with another build guide for World of Warcraft Hardcore Classic. Hello! <laughs> this will be my hunter guide video to leveling a hunter in Hardcore. I level hunter quite a bit. I think hunter is very soothing, very chill. Sometimes I just wanna, you know, play a little bit, don't really think about a lot of things and just cruising through levels, just killing some mobs, doing some quests and I feel that Hunter is it's just a perfect class for that. What can I say? I really like pet classes, it, it seems. <laughs> I think you should level Beast Mastery. Beast Mastery is very strong. Your pet becomes so strong at some point that pet will just destroy everything. It's very fun. Always pick the first point and improve the aspect of the hawk. I know this is stupid. It's just 1%, but every time this pox, I, I don't know, I just... I just like that. It's some sort of, I don't know, dopamine trigger or something like this. I don't know. <laughs> but but I always do this. You don't have to do this, obviously, but I just like to do this. The next four points into this, I mean, it's 3% HP or dopamine. You can decide. It's up to you, right? Then I put three points into thick height. This is very good because the majority of the damage what your pet will get is physical and armor mitigates physical damage, so... It kind of makes sense, right? I would always skill this out. Improve revive pet because sometimes you have to revive your pet in combat and this would just make it way faster and this sometimes save your life. So I mean, it's hardcore things that sometimes save your life. <laughs> so now we add a crossing when it comes to skilling and this has to do with your choice of pet that you have. I think there are three choices I would do when it comes to pets. There is, of course, you can take every pet you want. It doesn't really matter. But I would take a boar, an owl, or a cat. And if you take a boar, you would probably start leveling this first because this is just more damage. Your pet will lack a bit of damage. And if you take an owl or a cat, I would take this first. But regardless, you kind of take this and this, you know, it doesn't really matter. A boar is good because a boar eats everything. If you find apples, it's fine. If you find fish, it's fine. Like, it's really whatever. You can even give your boar conjured food. So everything you find in the early stages, you can just throw into your boar, basically. And even though cats and owls are not that easy to feed, they just do more damage. And I feel at some point, let's say level 30, level 40, I tend to switch from a boar to, to a cat or an owl because, yeah, you want to have more damage at some point, right? So, But you can level until 60 with a boar, it's absolutely fine. But what you now want to do is you really want to max out crit. Crit is something you will feel a lot. This is something I take instantly when I can. Intimidation is a very nice stun. I use this regularly. This not only decreases damage that your pet gets, sometimes this really can save your life. And you can sometimes even interrupt cast with this if you time this properly. I like that. I always max this out. If you not take a cat or let's say a pet that has claw, it's maybe not so important and maybe one point is fine. But at this point, I most of the time have some sort of pet that uses claw and you will always be starved when it comes to focus and therefore this just makes sense. This is basically a damage increase. This is not like 100% what you have to follow. In between you, you have to ask yourself, will I have a mount at level 40, yes or no? Because no, then you will obviously want to scale this. This is for leveling very strong. We actually tested that. If you just run with pathfinding and you have it skilled, with somebody who mounts up at the 60% mount and then runs after you, I think it takes like 25 seconds or something until that person catches you. So this is way stronger than people might think. Just for questing purposes and just running around, this is absolutely fine. You have to decide when you scale it. There's no time you have to take this now, right? It's just when it kind of gets annoying when you have to run around a lot, just take it. So now I take four of those. I never take five of five because the pet will crit regularly and this will proc regularly. And I think 80% for me is fine. Sometimes, of course, this buff will run out, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And the last point I would just spend in more damage. Then you take, of course, Beast of Wrath. This is an amazing cooldown. If you press this, you can go FK and your pet will rip everything apart. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, this is basically the reason why you take Beast Mastery. It's very, very strong. It's a very cool button. It always feels very satisfying to press. Having that big red pet that just 
goes to town. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, and then you go uh, over to Marksman, you decrease the cost of all your shots, which, which will decrease your downtimes, obviously very, very cool. And then I take 5 out of 5 lethal shots, just giving me more crit chance, which just increase my damage even further. You don't have to take aim shot, but it's, it is just a fun ability, it hits very hard, but I wouldn't take this as an opener, because you don't want to rip threat from your pet, obviously. And if you crit with this thing, then yeah, your pet will probably not get aggro back. And then it just becomes annoying, you know? Again, you want to have a very smooth, a very fun, a very chill leveling experience. And yeah, you can disrupt this with, with this, so I wouldn't do that. You now have two options. You either go more into the marksmanship tree, or you go back into beast mastery and fill out, fill out certain skill points to just make leveling more, let's say enjoyable so the first option is you take one point in improved hunter's mark i only use this on elites and very strong enemies i think it's a waste of mana and then i would put three points into hawk's eye you just have then more range and then the last points into 60 all in mortal shots my crits will just do more damage you know some people like this build, I don't. I think I'm critting way too much with this and the problem with that is I rip threat a lot of the time and again, I want to have a smooth leveling experience and this is kind of contradictory to that, if this makes any sense. I would go back and put two points into this. I really like Spirit Bond. If I wouldn't plan not going marksmanship at all, I would probably would scale this right away. I really like this. This would just decrease your downtime. This would take all the time in between when you fight. So you always have basically a heal over time effect on your pet, which is absolutely amazing. You can just pull after pull after pull. What I then would actually take is two points into this, especially at the later stages when you're in the play clans or something, you always have like some, <laughs> some random shit on your pet, like some curses, some diseases poisons sometimes things that take forever to get rid of basically and this would just you know just press one button and it's gone if you want to be very cheap you can just put one point into this then you have to spam it you know but 15 or 50 percent you you will feel this i love to take this you don't have to do this and then i would really max this out this is just nothing crazy but this will park obviously then way more often right and then you can just decide for the last point, you know, just getting 3% more life or really maxing this out at some point. You could do this, you know, but yeah, I will probably do this. You kind of know what you're doing and you play a little bit cautious. You can easily hit 60 with this. The first levels, of course, you don't have a pet. They are kind of whatever, but you're very strong until level 40 and level 40, y your power spikes so much because of this. Every two minutes, you kill one enemy in like a couple of seconds, I feel. This does so much damage, it's actually absolutely insane. I wish you a lot of fun with Hunter leveling. If this is your build of choice, I, I feel you will hit level 60, no problem at all. Yeah. I wish everybody a great time in Azeroth. Don't die, please. And take care, everybody.